The A-Stroke RX590 Phantom Gaming U Edition is the latest model of A-Stroke's own implementations of the AMD Radeon RX590 graphics cards. This new U model is, well, the same exact graphics cards as the A-Stroke Phantom Gaming RX590 X version, with one simple difference, RGB. This video is going to be yet another example of how RGB as a function and feature has become a constant pain in my simple yet complex existence and we are all here to witness it. Starting with the basics, this graphics card features a maximum memory clock of 8032 MHz and a maximum core clock of 1591 MHz. These are of course achieved by using the OC mode within the Astro Phantom Gaming software. We will also speak about overclocking these graphics cards later on in the video, within the testing section. In terms of performance, there is no way of saying this better. This is the same graphics card as the A-Stroke Phantom Gaming RX 590X OC version. In fact, the overall difference in performance in between these two graphics cards is so small that it is downright within the margin of error, or in other words, one frame per second, plus or minus. And this is viable across all of my benchmarks, including 3D Mark, which is a synthetic benchmark, and the various games I've been using. Of course, as always, the first game to be featured in our testing is GTA 5, which still has a big following and is constantly updated online and offline. The actual gaming performance is pretty good for what it is essentially a reused graphics core. The RX 590U edition stayed at around 68 to 70 frames per second. Of course, I am using the low 1% and low 0.1% as my unit of measurement, because it is a better representation of the various dips in frame rate when gaming. Nevertheless, 68 frames per second on the low 1% is pretty good, especially since this game is being tested with all settings set on very high. The Witcher 3 Will Hunt is the next game to be tested and the performance took a bit of a hit compared to GTA 5. It is not surprising, as this game features complex lighting and volumetric elements. It also uses post-processing effects and tessellation. For all tests done with this game, Hairworks is disabled to even the field between graphics cards and provide a better experience and performance relation to everyone. The last game to be tested is Deus Ex Mankind Divided, an AMD title that was quite a controversy with its pre-order system and everything. But forget that, let's talk about performance in this game with the RX 590U edition. And it managed to get 41 frames per second in the low 1%. While the average frame rate for this game is 59 frames per second, if of course you can live with the random frame drop. The overclocking is as good as it got for the XOC version of the 590. Well, give or take, as overclocking is always a gamble with these graphics cards. This particular graphics card reaches a core clock of 1623 MHz and a memory clock of 2230 and this means an overall gain of approximately 7.5% in games. Now that we have established that this new version of the A-Stroke Phantom Gaming RX 590 is just as good as the X version, we can move on with the actual differences between the two graphics cards. And the differences in question are, well, just two, as in just two features. One is of course the RGB element, which is basically the Phantom Gaming logo and name placed on the side of the graphics card. It gives a nice effect and can be controlled through the ASRock Polychrome Sync software and system, thus it can be synchronized with the motherboard and other components that are compatible with this system. The design of this graphics card hasn't changed that much, if at all. The only difference is that it now sports that RGB logo and name branding on the side. This graphics card also features a new added internal mini display port, placed on the right side of the graphics card, right next to the PCIe covers. This can be used for an internal capture card or for Thunderbolt applications. The cooling system is good enough for what it is, and it is composed out of two main elements. A pair of 90mm fans, which use a standard three-phase motor fan configuration with double bar bearings. They do their job and will cool the graphics cards, however, the sound is well... a bit on the high side of things, and I say this because at maximum RPM the fans will peak at 40 decibels, measured at 10 cm away from the system. The second element of the cooling system is the heatsink, which uses both copper and aluminium in its construction. The heat is dissipated by three heat pipes that are spread across the whole cooler. 
There are also thermal pads placed on the VRM components of the card as well as on all the memory chips. Going back to the design, this graphics card also features a metallic backplate that has a brushed texture and an abstract design that is the same one we find on most Phantom Gaming products. It is certainly unique and gives the card a better look overall. It also is a departure of the same old dragon uh, or some sort of flame element design placed on everything that is pretty much RGB these days, so H-Stroke is actually maintaining quite a subtle and elegant design approach on all their products. The software that can be used with these graphics cards is Astrox's own development, called Phantom Gaming Tweak. In essence, you can overclock the graphics card using this program and of course, you can also switch between the pre-installed overclocking modes that come with this card. This program can also control the fans and will allow you to set up a custom fan profile which is very useful, as well as letting you adjust both the power limit and the temperature limit. Weirdly enough and surprising of course, you can also set the precise voltages for the core of the graphics card which is welcomed, especially when overclocking. The outputs are the standard bundle, a single link DVI-D port, two HDMI 2.0B ports, one internal mini display port which is version 1.2 and two display ports that are version 1.4. At the back, in between these ports, you can also spot a bit of a fancy design that helps with the exhaust of the hot air inside the cooling system of these graphics cards. This is great as many manufacturers just use the standard honeycomb pattern design for the vents. Acerock opted for something a bit more classy. And now that you've understood what these graphics cards can do, you must ask yourself, why does this thing actually exist? The simple answer is, well, RGB. With this graphics card, Astroc offers an alternative to those that want an Astroc graphics card with RGB integration. Of course, if you already have an RX 590, there is no real reason to buy this one as there are no visible performance changes. But if you are in the market for an RX 590 and want some RGB elements, then Astroc has you covered with this model. Also, you may wonder why this graphics card is called Phantom Gaming U. That U letter is basically short for the word U and is linked to the RGB element that can be customized and be configured by, you guessed it, you. Now, would I recommend these graphics cards to anyone? Well, of course, it is after all an RX 590 and yes, it has RGB if you are looking for that in a card. Well, here it is, this one has it as well. The pricing shouldn't be higher than the regular Phantom Gaming RX 590 XOC version and if you can find it, well, go right ahead and buy it because the performance is as good as the best RX 590 Astro has made so far. If you liked this review, then perhaps you will consider subscribing for more and also I would like to know your opinion about this type of products, so go right ahead and comment below.